Tarrant, he's uh, wings, uh, T1, the jet, Hawk jet, Moria Valley. And uh, then from there, he moved on to the GR4 Tornado. A uh, little heads up, it is very, very loud. So if you've got kids, make sure uh, they know about it. It can be a shock for them. So, especially when he hits the reheat. So Matt then, uh, after he left Lossy Mouth, went on to 617 Squadron, of course the famous Dan Buster Squadron, where he served for just under a year before the squadron disbanded in 2014. And then he moved on to 9 Bomber Squadron at Moria <coughs> uh, That was his time on the Tornado. He went to uh, numerous operational deployments in Afghanistan, uh, flying out to Cyprus, where he was flown over Iraq and Syria. And, uh, then he moved across in 2017 to the Typhoon. So I've got a message for uh, Ryan Story. Ryan Story, please attend First Aid Point 3 ASAP. Ryan, we need you to go to the First Aid Point 3. Ryan Story to First Aid Point 3. So in 2017, as I said, Matt moved across the Typhoon. He was posted to 11 Fighter Squadron, where he qualified uh, as a swing roll pairs lead and participated in numerous overseas deployments. Being down in Baltic Air Policing in Estonia, down to the Falklands. Matt returned to 29 Squadron in 2020, where he became a QFI. 29 Squadron, of course, responsible for training both air crew and ground crew for the UK partners and partner missions, so not just uh, the Royal Air Force, but overseas air forces come for the training year as well. Now to operate and maintain the Typhoon. So, running in, from your left, the Royal Air Force, Typhoon. set up a system called Radar 2 that's going to transform the aircraft, its performance and its delivery of uh, weapons. Typhoon is uh, built with modular design, so exactly uh, that as it goes through its life cycle they'll be able to upgrade uh, the aircraft without any, making any major changes to the structure of it. It's coming right out the sun, classic flagger. So with uh, the advent of Radar 2 for the Typhoon fleet, it's going to nearly double their uh, radar range. And the aircraft is fully capable now, not just air to air, but also air to ground interdiction. Which is it comes through the centre.
you can see that amazing rollway, such a good air to air capability as well. And uh, the aircraft is what we call a fourth generation fighter, maybe a 4.5 with its upgrades. It's uh, not stealthy in the traditional sense, it has some stealth uh, coatings and it, uh, it's not huge on the radar, but compared to the GF 35s that are coming on, Through. Now we're going to see the uh, slower part of the flight envelope as he throttles the aircraft back. So the aircraft has got computers on board. The computers are talking to each other all the time, thousands, thousands uh, times a second. Uh, they're comparing the uh, feed coming back from the aircraft from the sensor itself. So uh, they're, they're sort of voting, you know, is this the right thing? So we're going to see what's called a high alpha approach now so he's pitching the nose up if you've got binoculars and you can see the canards at the front you'll see them moving very very quickly and that's the computer so the fly-by-wire system is now taken over so the aircraft doesn't stall he's pitched the aircraft up but now he's going to reintroduce the afterburner and just push the sitting on his Martin Baker ejector seat in a, in a recline. He has a HOTAS system, so that means hands-on throttle and stick. So his left hand has, I think it's about 17 functions that the throttle could do. is constantly maintaining itself. It's uh, looking for faults. You can see problems coming up. So every time it lands, uh, the first thing that's plugged into this is not the fuel burner. As you'd expect, incredibly powerful. So get ready as... Uh, we can see the aircraft coming back around for one of its penultimate maneuvers. The weather is perfect for uh, his end show. He's going to go into a vertical climb. Storm the Oh, just around the 
Airport, ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Air Force. Well, it will get better because coming up next, it is the Royal Air Force.